Hey guys, and welcome back to more air combat. When we last left off, we were essentially starting the game, kicking some serious ass. Now, uh, before we do anything, let's have a little look at what aircraft we can buy now. Uh, it doesn't seem to be anything too amazing here. I mean, we can get the MiG-29, I suppose. The old Fulcrum. Uh, we've got the A-10, we've got the F-18, we've got the F-4, we've got the F-14. Uh, you know what? We're good. We're good. We're good with what we got. So, there's Mission 7. Mission 8. Mission 10. <coughs> so, where's Mission 9? Well... I guess we don't have it. Let's go suppress the old radar base, shall we? ADCRS, Air Defense Command and Radar System, has been identified. We can expect a steep drop in enemy effectiveness if this site is destroyed. Well, alrighty the then. An effective SAM kill zone around the target. Its one weak point is a narrow ravine leading to the base. This requires precision, nap of the earth flying. Target, enemy radar site. Well, map no effective countermeasures of this the model, earth. Sam. Exit the ravine and you are toast. That doesn't sound good at all. So, looks like we've got to thread a needle. We can do that. Let's so get my uh, stuff sorted out here. So, I think we're going to go with the A10 for this one. All right, let's go. So, uh, nope, that's not what we wanted to do at all, is it? You fool. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know what we're doing. All right. <laughs> Seem to be having some kind of technical difficulties here. Yes. We know what we're doing, you fool. Let us make with the killing. There we go. Got there in the end. Okay, so we're going to take the A-10. Because that is our primary uh, nap of the earth flying majigger. In fact, this is our primary flying majigger for everything. Right. Now, luckily, there's only going to be a few um, RA-66 helicopters here. Which I do believe are the Comanches. Yes. The good old Comanche attack helicopter. Which, of course, uh, they only built two of those, I believe two test models and it was supposed to be the fast light attack helicopter to uh, supplement the Apache longbows and stealth to a degree as well. Uh, sadly it never made it past the drawing board and two test planes or two test airframes I should say. All right we're gonna go low and we're gonna go fast or at least as fast as this airframe will allow. Come on baby. Now, they do recycle this level again later, which is kind of curious. Oh, tight turns. Ooh, Jesus. Might actually be easier if we go for chase cam here. Just because. And you know what this reminds me of? <laughs> this uh, reminds me of the Orca cutscene for uh, Command & Conquer. Where you first get introduced to... Colonel, Colonel Morelli's new toy. Ooh. Of course, 1995. That was actually the year the original Command Conquer came out. You son of a bitch. Just clipped the wing there. S ah. Arse. Right, I'll meet you guys back here in a second. Now let's see if we can not die this time. Open up with a 30 millimeter. Excellente. Okay, I've never actually failed that mission before, so that was a learning experience for all involved. I just decided to load the game because I really don't want to lose the A10. She is uh, going to be one of the workhorses for a while, I think. 
Also, I didn't realise on that mission, you can't actually <clears throat> increase or decrease your um, speed. Which, I'm pretty sure, uh, I remember years ago when I finally got there, to that mission, I thought my controller was broken. Okay. So, mission nine, we need to find mission eight. <clears throat> now, I can't remember if it said new, ah, there's mission eight. Can't remember if it said the new aircraft were available. We know we got the 31, the F-117, Tornado, the F-4, the MiG-29. Nothing new. Really? <clears throat> yeah, well, I guess not. Yeah, the MiG-31 is kind of anus. When you look at it, its mobility is zero. It's, oof, no thanks. <clears throat> okay. So, destroy enemy staging zone. Let's go. Regaining Probably city is a prime another to job for the A-10. The enemy. To forestall offensive operations, we will strike their staging area. Target, staging facilities and B-1 bombers. Our goal is to hit them just before their incursion begins. Well, alrighty then. So, actually, <clears throat> I got the YF-23 there as well. Okay, so, uh, I mean, you know what? Let's take the A-10, just because we can. Let's go. So we've got some bombers coming in. We've got some B1s. It's fine. I'm going to scratch these guys on the way in. He's done. I guess it doesn't matter too much about us taking these bombers out first. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I do love the way this cannon seems to come out of the engine, which is curious. We're not letting him go anywhere, my friend. B1 is splashed. Jesus. That guy's close. Maybe not risk that again. Alright. I guess we just missed. He's going to try and go in for an evil little turning circle. I don't think we're going to have the firepower no, to crack him. I'm trying to be a little bit fancy with the old guns here. Save those precious missiles. Well, ironically, still wasting those precious missiles. Lel. Ah, MiG-29, huh? Come and test your metal against an A-10. Should be easy pickings, really. All right. He decided to completely disregard us. Come to Papa. Trying to shoot him down. Certainly has the speed advantage on us. And apparently the armor advantage. Bulletproof. Fuselage. He's done. He's had enough. And I really can't, I can't fly like that with no heads up display. I feel naked, yo. So we've got a couple more targets. Ooh. Of course, the B2 Raiders. They are stealth boys. That's going to be a problem. Although, well, not really. All right. I don't think these things will be able to outmaneuver even an A-10 with any kind of reliability. Come on. There we are. Ooh, wasted his ass. Now, being a stealth fighter, or stealth bomber, I should say, I wouldn't have thought these things would be that durable. But, I don't know. I'm not an aircraft engine it. Oh, come on. 
Come on. Make this gun useful for once. Ooh. That's going to be expensive for them. These things aren't cheap. I believe the US has only built uh, 21 of these, I believe. Uh, but they are being replaced soon. These are the B2 Spirits, and they're being replaced by the B1 Raider, is it? I forget. Come on. Let's get you guys. Oh, it's a MIG. We're going to try and shoot it down. That's kind of our job, Mr. Co pilot. Whereas apparently your job is to sit there and shout into our ear holes. In which case, you're doing your job wonderfully. I bet they're a little bit upset that we destroyed their um, super secret uh, stealth aircraft. Now, it is hard to avoid the AA guns in the A-10. Just because you can't power away like you can in the uh, high performance aircraft. Uh, YF-23, yes. Now the YF-23 was a prototype that was never finished. There were two prototypes, or two designs I should say, for the US's 5th uh, generation air superiority fighter. There was this YF-23, and there was the YF-22. And the YF-22 won the contract and became the F-22 Raptor. So I believe it was the YF... Yeah, there was the YF-22, yes. I forget all the little differences between them. There were actually quite a few. I know the uh, vector thrust on the um, Raptor gave it a nice little advantage. And when I say a little advantage, it was actually quite significant. Because thrust vectoring is uh, an incredibly useful trick to have in your toolbox. Fun fact, the Harrier can actually uh, do a similar thing with its, with its uh, control nozzles. They can be used to thrust vector the aircraft, which meant uh, back in the Falklands, like, they were so much more maneuverable. They weren't as fast as some of the RG planes, but they were so, so maneuverable. Also, Although, uh, there were 10 Harriers lost in the Falklands War. None of them were shot down. But they were lost due to damage and, um, you know, the uh, surface ships being hit and whatnot. So the Harrier certainly proved its worth. The Sea Harrier. Okay. We have new aircraft available. Let's have a little look, shall we? Uh, what have we got? Ah, oh, we've got an F-16. Wow. So the F-16, which in reality is an amazing airframe, designed by the same guy that actually uh, designed the A-10, actually. Whereas the A-10 was designed to be 100% um, close air support, that was 100% dogfighter. And they both performed their task 
exceptionally well because it was a plane designed purely to do one job and do that one job well instead of these multi-role fighters who uh, have a blanket of uh, tasks they need to achieve and they don't really excel at anything so I kind of want to buy an F-16 but that defense I'm pretty sure one shot and it's out of commission so yeah oh we can already go straight to mission 15 um, we're not going to go straight to mission 15 we're going to do mission 9 we try and do these missions in order. Yeah, so this one... We have the uh, Aegis, as he so calls them, but the Aegis missiles. Uh, this one is kind of dicey to be in the A-10, if I'm being honest. Just because we need that speed. Um, but we're going to take the A-10 anyway. Because YOLO, am I right? Do the kids still say that? Probably. Okay, let's go. Yeah, so we're against a uh, missile frigate or missile cruiser. Um, in real life, this A-10 wouldn't stand a frickin' chance. But this isn't real life. This is air combat. Come on, baby. Come on. Get wrecked. Na <laughs> Navy Island. I do like that. I mean, they tried. I think this game was just to test the waters to see if there would be any demand for this sort of thing. And, uh, yes, there is. <laughs> 20, well, 28 years later, it's still a banging game. Oof. And this music. God, it gets you fired up. Ready for war. Ooh, oh, Jesus. That guy. That guy's got some balls. There's no missile approaching. Just because he was trying to lock onto us doesn't mean there's a missile approaching. Come on. There he is. Right, we're going to have to cut the speed right down to catch this guy bleed off all that energy. Come on. Come on. There we go. We should be able to turn tighter than him. Come on. I have no intention on letting him get away. Again, titanium reinforced airframe. Really? Dude. Teach me your power. This guy should have been opened up like a zombie ribcage after experiencing a shotgun blast. Come on. There we go. See, that target reticle is right over him, but it's still missing. As I said, it's a little bit funky. Uh, got significantly better in the later on games. All right, target shot predictor thingy, what's it? Let's go. Let's get some speed. Now we're pushing the old girl about as hard as she will be pushed, because we need to sink a frigate. All right. Yeah, we see her. We see him. Eat that. We want to take out as many of these installations as we can. That Aegis I want to stay way away from that thing. If we can help it. Notice how um, 
you know, turning doesn't actually affect our speed, which is really freaking nice. We're still accelerating. We're almost reaching maximum speed. Full throttle. Come on. You're done. Just have to keep rolling with the punches. Once they have all this air cover. Come on. Really don't want to bleed off. All of that speed that we spent so long obtaining. Because we need that to kill the frigate. In fact, let's go kill the frigate now. Alright, baby. Come on. One. I think it takes three hits. It's got three chunks to blast. Oof. And this is the deadliest target here. We've lost it. There it is. There it is. Come on. Come on. You're padlocked. It's fine. Stop stop panicking, dude. We're all right. Lay off the coffee. Honestly. You can't handle the coffee. All right. Let's go. Hit the bridge. She's dusted. Alright, now we can kind of calm the fuck down with the old speed. Although, <laughs> it's so much fun blasting around on f as full speed. Right. Ah, hello. How are you doing? I forget what that plane is. Is it the Raphael? Might be. Oh, well, no matter. Yeah, it might be the Raphael, actually. Ooh. He threaded that needle straight through our stream of justice. I would say he's what the kids would call a lucky git. Oh, I couldn't quite. Yeah, that looks like a Raphael. Might be wrong, though. They have a very similar profile to a Typhoon, but... Not quite. He's dust. Alright. Okay, how are we doing? Got a bomber on the ground. Excellent. He is toast. Silent kind of reminding me of Japan on the map there. Don't know why. Enemy in sight. So there is a primary target through that little ravine there. That's fine. There's no splash or anything when we actually hit the Okay, we do actually lose speed when we climb, which is curious. Enemy in sight. Come to daddy. Let's hit the brakes. You're finished. And you're finished. Alright, not bad. All right. Nice load of cash in the bank. 18.1 million. Thanking you. And all we had to do is murder an entire island full of terrorists. It probably would have done that for free. Okay, probably going to cut this video off short because 
don't think we have time for another one. Um, so, new aircraft available. What do we got? Hey, it is the YF-23. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's a thing. Decent armor, incredibly fast. Decent mobility. But the stability and the offense is pathetic. But we're going to buy it. Because of course we are. And with that, guys, I'm going to save the game. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.